Hey guys, Rafferty Refined, everything you need to refine your skills as a chalk painting artist. So today we're going to be covering a really simple blending technique. Now I know that blending can be kind of intimidating when it comes to um, combining multiple colors at a time. So let's just start with the basics and go with two colors. Along the way I'll be giving you a couple of added bonus tips and um, in the end we will come out with a beautiful piece. So let's get started. So before I start any blending, I like to go over my piece and sand it lightly uh, with a 320 or a 400 bit sandpaper. And it's really good to do this anyways, just to kind of create a nice smooth finish. Um, so what I'm gonna do is kind of hit all the drawers and the sides, and then we'll get to the blending. Uh, you're gonna need your water bottle, a uh, little mister, you see it? Now, um, you can order these on Amazon. This one I got at Sally's. A lot of times with blending, it's suggested that you have a brush for each color and then uh, kind of like an eraser blending brush. For today, because I really wanted to keep it simple, I would have appreciated this video when I started learning. Um, we are going to do two brushes and then I'll show you kind of ways that you can work with them. So the two colors that I'm going to be doing is uh, the white shade and then the actual color of this because all I want is kind of like a nice white halo kind of glow in the middle of everything and I think that will look really nice for what I want to do with this piece later on. Here we go. So we always start by misting the surface where we will be painting and we mist our brush as well. I'm applying the pink on the outside with one brush and using a separate brush for the white in the middle. So when blending with whites, it's best to keep the brushes and the paint separate. So I'm only using the brush to lay on the paint. So we'll be doing our blending today with the brush that I'm using to lay on the pink. Moving the colors back and forth, you wanna to start to mix in the white to the pink and then you can move the brushes in different directions, which helps to create a really seamless blend. As your surface area gets bigger, you'll need to adjust the water so misting more as you go. And chalk paint is very forgiving. So here I'm showing that by painting this heart, how it can completely be blended out, smoothed into a circle, no problem. So I promised you a couple tips. So before that, uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on refining your skills as a chalk painting artist. So one of the things that I like to do before blending is soak my brushes in conditioner. Yep, hair conditioner. You don't have to go with this kind particularly, but this is what I used uh, just yesterday to soak these brushes in. Since I use these brushes on a regular basis, uh, they do get quite worn and we wanna keep them as soft as possible when we do our blending. Um, so conditioner helps with that. Another thing is because we are doing only two brushes this time, um, the brush that we're blending with uh, takes some time to wipe it off in between your blends. Um, because it's combined with the main color, it can cancel out the white sometimes. And so when you find that happening, it is completely fine to take it and wipe it off. So right now, I know it's a little hard to tell with these two colors, um, but I'm trying to do the best I can with lighting. They are drying, so when blends dry, they do tend to look a little patchy. 
and sometimes when the colors are combined you can't ever really tell until paint dries and so the first one you're just kind of laying it on there um, hoping that it all goes well so let it dry and we'll meet back um, for round two okay so second coat is going to go on um, I want the center pieces to just be a little bit more lighter so I'm going to focus on applying a little bit more white blending it out and I think the end result should look really great. I'm just going to do a quick sand between the coats just to kind of keep it as smooth as possible. So let's get started. So starting with that pink border, I'm putting on a little less this time and adding a little more white. And I'm keeping the same blending style, just back and forth and up and down with the brush. So again, I'm doing this second coat to really draw that white out and make it my focal point. So I'm thinking because this is going to have the furniture transfers on it, what I want to do is and now add some of the blending on the top. Um, just because since everything's gonna be so covered up with the flowers, I feel like um, there should just be one element that really showcases the soft, kind of blushy vibe um, that this blend is kind of creating. Starting the same way, we're going to sand our top lightly and dust off the debris. And then mist our surface and start laying down the pink. Learning from how the paints have been blending already, I kept a pretty generous surface area for the white. Just so this shows up better once it's dry and I won't have to do as much touching up. So I'm bringing my white up to the pink and then back down to the pink and then working in the sides until it's all blended nicely. And here is the final look. When you're going in and when you're experimenting with uh, blending, just uh, have fun with how the paint's going. Even if it's not going the way that you want it to, just you know, take a step back, you know, wipe off your brush, and start again, or move on to a different section of your piece and. Uh, do something a little different well, it doesn't happen the same way again it's, it's such a fun technique and you know once you get the two colors down then you start to add a third color and then a fourth color even and you know you you'll get your rhythm and so i really hope this video helped you out i will be adding some really cute details to this vanity um so stay tuned for the next video on that and if you have any specific questions i don't mind answering them so go ahead and leave me a comment down below don't forget to subscribe so you can refine your skills as a chalk painting artist. I am on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, so come visit me and say hi. Go ahead and like this video and share it with a friend if you found some value in it. And until then, it was a pleasure doing this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.